In this video tutorial we will create a, a shell analysis of a simply supported plate. So we will start again by static structural tool and we will create our geometry in 3D using design modeler. So we can start the sketch in the XY plane and we can view that plane from the front. Click on the sketching tab and we need to create a simple rectangle starting from that point. But first of all let's change units for convenience to millimeters. So starting from the center and extending to some distance and we can add some dimensions to this. So if we click on dimensions and click on horizontal, select this line and the line on the right and we can enter the H1 dimension and for vertical click on this line and this line and click outside the square to create the V2 parameter. So for these dimensions our plate is 1 meter by 1 meter so 1000 meters for V1 or V2 and um, 1000 meters for H1. And we can fit view. So the sketch is a straightforward uh, square 1 meter in each side. And when the sketch is complete, we can go to the modeling tab, and that's our sketch. And this will be a surface model, and that will then be meshed with shell elements. So we can go to create a concept of surfaces from sketches, and click on apply. And we can, if you want, define the thickness here, but that's usually uh, redefined in mechanical. So let's click on generate and that's our uh, surface defined in the design modeler. Once the geometry is created in design modeler we can then go to mechanical. So we start mechanical from the model. So this is our mechanical geometry. We can now create uh, size on the mesh uh, so we can click on mesh and sizing and we can say um, apply to this surface and click on apply and element size let's do 50 millimeters and we can click on mesh and generate so that creates um, 20 by 20, about 400 elements here, and we can then define the boundary conditions. And the boundary conditions on this are um, simply supported. So, because we have defined the thickness already on Design Modeler, it is showing this as if it's a it's a solid model, but it's actually uh, a shell definition that we are creating. So we can now go to define our um, supports and we can do that by applying displacements on the four lines around this. We'll select the edge filter and select the edges of this geometry and pressing control allows us to select four of the lines in the circumference and click on apply and we can then say in Z direction these are all uh, zero. So no displacements allowed in the Z direction around the edges. And that's enough for simply supporting this plate. But we need to avoid rigid body motion on the XY plane. So we need to add a couple of more displacements. For example, we can click on a vertex filter and select these two points and then make them fixed in the y-axis so make them zero 
displacement and the y-axis. Make sure it's selected for the geometry as well. And we also need to make sure that there isn't a 3D or rigid body motion in the x direction. So let's click on uh, this point and also make sure that this doesn't have a displacement in uh, the x direction, so 0 in x. So these are the essential boundary conditions for a simply supported plate. And we can uh, next apply a pressure surface on this. So click on pressure and on the surface uh, we can click on um, a magnitude of 0 0.01 megapascals. So uh, that's a relatively small pressure and it's, uh, you'll see how that affects the steel plate of 6 mm thickness. We can go to solution and look at our deformations and also echoing stresses and possibly some normal stresses, let's say stresses in the x-axis and also stresses on the uh, y-axis so we can change that x to y and that allows us to see um, stresses um, at the top and bottom in the bending directions in x and y. So we can next click on solution solve and again it's a small model so it takes a few seconds to solve so we can look at total deformation and we can see that this plate is displacing about 10 millimeters in the center we can click on animate to see how the plate moves we can see that the edges don't move in Z but the rotations are allowed so we can stop that and look at the equivalent stress which is maximum at the corners, about 90 megapascals. We can also see normal stresses, so that is in the x direction. And in the x direction, this is a compressive stress of about 80 megapascals. If we turn the plate, we can see that there is a, a tensile stress of uh, about 80 megapascals on the bottom. So that will be similar to stresses in the y direction, so that's compression at the top and uh, tension at the bottom. So this concludes the um, shell analysis of a simply supported square plate of 6mm thickness.